Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and I will be right back with three small business packages as well as some happy mail and an update on my blanket from my mom. I'll see you in a sec. Natalie's Closet. Hey, so welcome back everyone. Um, I actually forgot on top of the happy mail, the three small business packages, the update on the blanket. We also have subscriber of the week. I forgot I was going to be mention or announcing that uh, last week's today. So I have to try to remember all of that. Anyway, I think, okay, so first of all, Wednesdays, as you guys know, Mondays I'm doing something. And then Wednesdays, what I ha have planned is that I'm going to be sharing with you, I think it's 11 small businesses uh, that I have received something from. Now, I, I still think I'm waiting for three different businesses, I believe. Uh, now, four of them, I think it's four of them, are businesses I've already done business with. Uh, today, I'm going through three of them, and they are people I've worked with before. And I, on Wednesdays, I'm going to go ahead and share uh, the items that I received and will let you know if I have any kind of a coupon code for you or a referral link or an affiliate link or something like that. And I'll briefly give you information about the business if it's not one that you already know about. Uh, but I mean, like if, if I've talked about them a million times, then I won't necessarily go into detail today, you know, on Wednesday and the Wednesday that I open their um, package up. Now, once we get through all of the packages, and I'm figuring I'm probably going to do three per video, so that'll be four Wednesdays of opening packages, and then the fifth Wednesday, I'm actually going to do a small business review and give you more in-depth information about the businesses as far as what I, how I feel about their customer service, um, their prices, their shipping, etc. So that's going to be the last Wednesday is going to be talking about that. And then I mentioned to you guys, now that you know what's going on on Mondays, uh, the last, the very last Monday, I will go over all of the yarns that were received either from the local yarn shops and or from the small businesses on Wednesday. So if for some reason you're not able to see the color, maybe because yes, I am in my mom's house in front of the Christmas tree today. So today is not going to count for subscriber of the week, but Monday and Friday will because that'll be in my house. But um, I'm it's Christmas Eve for us. So we're kind of my mom's actually at work, but we're we're doing some stuff to prepare for tonight's dinner. So I just figured I'd go ahead and do it here. And we will be having another video going up on our kitchen channel. I know, two in a week. I mean, I know, craziness, right? But anyway, uh, so there's a lot going on. So I figured I'm just going to do it in here. So I'm hoping the lighting is going to be good enough for you to see the colors of whatever it is I received. Uh, but like I said, you will get to see it again on the last Monday, which will probably be sometime in March when I go over all the yarns. So that being said... I am, the reason why I, I'm doing Mondays and Wednesdays is to support small businesses. And you guys know that's a passion of mine. I say it every video almost. This way I can get the word out there. And with online stores, you know, anybody can shop with them depending, you know, I, I think only like two of them are out of the country, if I'm not mistaken. One's in the UK and I think one's in Scotland, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look that up again. But, uh... This is my way of being able to try to help small businesses as much as possible because word of mouth is the way that small businesses thrive the most. Yes, they advertise. Yes, they have social media accounts and stuff, but word of mouth is the best way for news about them to help them. Does that make sense? Because I kind of lost track of what I actually was saying. <laughs> anyway, so... Whether you are interested in shopping with them or you may know somebody who may be interested, you can either direct them to my video so they can learn about them or if you just want to give them the link, whatever the case is, hopefully this will help them just a little bit. That's my little part that I can do. So anyway, let's do happy mail first. I have, well, 
one card is from my aunt in Canada, but I had to show you the actual card because it's so beautiful. Uh, and then I have three other cards and look at, I'm going to cover her address, but look at that. Isn't that awesome? Um, today just got happier. Totally. Thank you. I, that's so awesome, Beth. I so appreciate it. Anyway, let's do happy mail. I'm going to show you my aunt's card first. I've already opened it. It's actually a Christmas card from her dog. Um, her dog Opie to Miley and she was basically welcoming Miley into the family because Opie's been around longer but um, even though Miley's been in the family for a while this was the official welcome it was a really cute card I'm not going to read it because it's a personal uh, note but look at this card is that not gorgeous do you see the gold like leaf in it it's so beautiful it's a Peter Popper press which is one of my favorite card um, designers and I just had to show you that. I, I think I saw this card somewhere. I almost picked it up. But, I mean, so beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Thanks, Tata, if you happen to be watching. I don't know if, I don't know if she watches all my videos. But um, I know she watches the kitchen videos. <laughs> so let's get on with the next three. Now, this one is from Catherine in Belgium. I, told, I sent her a picture. It, I don't want to show her address. But it literally came undone. It was, you can't see it that way. It came undone. This is how it was in my, in my PO box, totally open. So she has fragile on here. I'm going to see if, I don't know what she put in here, but yeah, I was like, um, it didn't stick at all. And she was like, I'm so sorry. But anyway, wow, what a pretty card. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Isn't that beautiful? You see, I mean, that is so beautiful. Thank you, Catherine, and I haven't even read it yet. <laughs> All right, there's a private note in here, so I will read that later, my friend. But she has something stuck to the inside of the card. It is a stitch marker because those of you that know Catherine, that's Cat's Eye Catchers. I'll put the link to her channel in the description box below. I have to remember every every all the links I'm putting in there. So outside of the small businesses, Catherine's is going in there. She does have a YouTube channel, um, and she has an Etsy shop also. I will put the link to her Etsy shop down below as well. And she makes beautiful stitch markers. I've shown you the ones she has sent me in the past. They're my, well, they're, I'm not going to say they're my favorites because that's not fair. I have a lot of favorites, but she knows I love Swarovski Crystal. Oh, son of a biscuit. Sorry, guys. I have to sign into my laptop because I'm editing I'm telling you, I'm multitasking here. I'm editing, um, crap, I did the wrong password. Um, I'm going to pause this for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I'm multitasking, trying to get everything done because it is Christmas Eve. And yeah, anyway, so I'm editing my, our cooking channel video. And when it goes into when it goes into sleep mode, it, it shuts things down and I didn't want that to happen. So anyway, back to Catherine. So she makes, she knows I love Swarovski crystal and she has a million different Swarovski crystals, pearls, everything else. Uh, there are reasons for that. I think she explains it on her channel. I'm not going to get into all of it, but look at this beautiful, beautiful stitch marker. And it is on a leather back. So it does open, but isn't that beautiful? I love it, Catherine. Thank you so much. Now, I'm guessing, not because I think you should have sent me more, <laughs> but I'm guessing what was in, what you sent in the card is in the card. You know what I mean? Since it was open. So just confirm that for me if you don't mind. I want to make sure that, you know, nobody stole anything. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much, my friend. I absolutely appreciate the card and the stitch marker. Thank you, thank you. Now, this is Triple C and Joe. I sent them a Christmas card as well. I keep forgetting to go on their lives. I think they still have them every morning, don't they? I keep forgetting to do that. I got to do that. All right, anyway, happy holidays. This is a pretty card. Beautiful scene. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. I want to go in that house. <laughs> I want to play in the snow. All right, so... There is a private note, but the card itself says, wishing your family a very Merry Christmas. Love always, Dana, a.k.a. Triple C and Joe. Thank you so much. This is so awesome. I will read the note after I'm done with the video. <laughs> so thank you. And then this is from Beth. Now, you all know my address. So, oh, that's cute. There's like a little sticker next to the north. Um, so I, can, I don't mind showing you my address because that's my P.O. box. 
But look at all the stickers. That's like me. Except I didn't have any stickers for my Christmas cards this year. What? Craziness. But I have them for next year. So, and it's from Beth. And that's the one that has that on there. That is so awesome. I love it. Today just got happier. Absolutely. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't cut the card. No, I didn't. Okay. I hate when I do that. You all know I do that all the time, don't you? Right? All right, so Happy New Year. It's a New Year's card. It's my first New Year's card. I mean, there are New Year's wishes in the cards, but this one is specifically New Year. So look, Happy New Year. Yay! All right. There's a sticker in here. Distance is just a test to see how far love can travel. Absolutely. Now, there's a private note. I'm not going to necessarily share it, but there's that sticker. <laughs> And I love the cat. That's just too adorable. Um, okay, so, all right, wait a minute. I'll read this because I just cut, something just cut, because there was something in the card. Um, Hi, Natalie. I wanted to send a decorated postcard and realize the stickers might come off in the mail, so here it is. Happy New Year, Beth. A okay. Um, Max saw Miley on your video. <laughs> so that's Max, her cat. Okay, too cute. I was wondering, what am I smelling? I'm smelling something. There's like a downy sheet or a, um, a snuggle sheet. <laughs> Too funny. I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, she personalized it. There's stickers that says, Natalie, magical. Happy New Year. Cheers. Joy. Love. Happy. Hola. Hola day. Sparkle. Hello. Of course, a snowman. Happy New Year. Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, Beth. This is so awesome. These are all stickers. Okay, well, the joy is part of the card. Um, but these are all stickers on it. And then all these personalized stickers. And then look at the back. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Beth. I love it. This is so awesome. This is really cool. Okay, well, that's definitely going up. All right, thank you so much, Beth. That was so fun to open. And thank you for the downy sheet or the snuggle sheet or whatever sheet it is. I was, I, seriously, I was sitting here just now going, what am I smelling all of a sudden? <laughs> Good, but what am I, where is that coming from? Then I realized what you did. So thank you everyone for my cards. I love them. They will go up on my wall because I still have the cards up as well as my Christmas scape. So yay for that. I'm so excited. Okay. Now on to, okay, my mom's, you know what? No, let's go ahead and do subscriber of the week. So last week's subscriber of the week is. Congratulations, Beth. I'm so excited. I swear to you, I had picked her name before I got that card. I promise you it was not rigged. It was not. But congratulations, Beth. I'm so happy for you. I have your address, of course. I've sent you several cards, so I will get your card and stickers out to you. So congratulations. Again, there were only 12 comments um, from Friday's video, and only a couple of people actually answered what changed. There was the... The ornament I had taken off was an I Love Yarn um, ornament. I think it was I Love Yarn. Uh, I happened to see that Michael's on ridiculous sale. So I was like, that was the only yarn ornament I've been able to find this Christmas season. So I picked it up and I replaced it. Now I knew it was going to be hard for you to see what I put up there, but it was the um, crocheted ornament, the snow um, snowflake ornament from Kathy. So that replaced the I Love Yarn uh, ornament, but you answered, I can't remember what it is you said specifically about it, but it was enough. So, all right. So on to my mom's blanket. My mom and I had a conversation today and I told her how disappointed I was in myself and the fact that I completely misjudged how long it would have taken to do her blanket because I make blankets, but the bulk of the blankets I have made have been baby blankets. And the baby blankets that I've made were, well, out of outside of a couple of custom ones have been with Bernat Baby Blanket, which is a chunky yarn and a small blanket. So of course goes fast, right? I've made one adult blanket, but also with Bernat Baby Blanket yarn. So it goes faster with puff stitches and everything. You just fly right through it, right? So with a like P hook or whatever. So when, when we were at my local yarn shop that Saturday and she challenged me and said, I'll get you this, your fantasy yarn or whatever, but 
I challenge you to start and finish my blanket by Christmas. I was like six weeks, no problem. I'll, I'll get it done. But I also wasn't thinking about the yarn I was going to be using. And then once we picked out the yarn, it's a, it's a thick DK or thin worsted and a 59 by 65 inch blanket. So that's huge, right? So I didn't really calculate it well enough and I totally misjudged it. My fault she felt bad because she felt like she maybe set me up for failure, but that I told her it's not her. I misjudged and took it on and really should have considered it. And I should have a couple weeks ago said, mom, listen, it's not going to happen. Could we have, could I have some more time? But I felt, okay, I'm going to bust my butt and I'm going to finish this blanket. Well, Saturday, this past Saturday and Sunday, I literally worked, maybe I'm not going to say all day, but several hours each day on this blanket and it literally didn't grow much at all. Well, having really looked at, I, I sat down, I knew it took me 23 to 25 minutes to do, go from one end of the row to the other end of the row. So doing, I could get three rows done in like an hour and 15 minutes. So that means to do six rows, that's two and a half hours. Well, six rows only gets me two inches on the blanket. Mm. So yes, she's saying hi to her peeps. Um, so six rows, which takes me two and a half hours, only gives me two inches. And you all know, I, I sometimes don't even have a half hour to crochet in a day. So that's where I got stopped up there. So I, I, I figured it out. I need 45 or 47 more inches. I know with all the work I've put into it, that's all I have. I need 47 more inches. If I consider two inches, which will give that... Two and a half hours a day working on it, get, doing six rows, getting two inches a day. I would need 23 and a half days, I think, to finish it. Now, that's that's saying I have two and a half hours every day to work on it, which realistically speaking may not be the case. Plus, I'd like two or three days to be able to sew in the ends because if I'm going to take more time on it, I want to do it right and sew in the ends. Yes, Leanne. Yes, Adele. I hear you guys. Yes, Tammy. I hear you guys yay for doing it all. right i get it um so i'm thinking realistically speaking if i could do another month i should be able to finish it without a problem so she and i are going to talk about it i was thinking i could do it for valentine's day uh but then that's giving me a little bit extra time and i don't i don't know so we're going to talk about it as far as what day what you know how long exactly but i'm thinking if i can have another month i can finish it so I hope you guys aren't too disappointed in me. I've spoken to several of you privately and we talked about it on my live last night and you guys are like, we are totally not, you know, we're not gonna give up on you. We don't hate you. We don't whatever. We're still here to support you. Several of you really, the ones that make the bl make blankets were like, we knew that that was like a big project you were undertaking for a six week period of time. So anyway, I wanted to explain that to you because I want I wanted you guys to know I'm not giving up. I'm not just not doing it. I'm going to finish it. But oh no, 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 no. It just rolled on the floor. So more Miley fur. Um anyway, so since last Wednesday, actually I think I moved it since then. But since last Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday are really the days that I work the most on. I mean, I have worked on it in the mornings, early in the morning or in the middle of the night. If I can't sleep, I work on it. Or <clears throat> um, I get up really early, but then if I'm like really tired, I'm making more mistakes than I'm, I'm doing it correctly. So then I'm frogging and going and frogging and going and what am I accomplishing, right? So anyway, that is where we are as far as length. And then with, you know, we got all of this. So, I mean, there's a lot of work that went into it and I'm not, you know, sitting on my tuchus not doing anything with it. But, um, yeah, so that's the story with that. And I am going to continue working on it and I'm giving, I'm, I'm, I haven't actually talked to my mom about the month, but I did tell her that the way I calculated it, doing two and a half hours a day, et cetera, whatever would be 23 days, 24 days really. And then a couple days to sew in the end. So, that's where we are. I hope you guys understand. <laughs> now on to small businesses. Honestly, I, I should probably do the small businesses in the beginning. Maybe I'll do that next Wednesday since that is the purpose of the video. And not really. Whips are also, which right now the whip is every week is going to be my mom's blanket, basically. 
uh, because I don't want to take on starting anything else when I really want to focus on the blanket because that is really important to me to get done. So we are going to start with, these are not, okay, one of them is December month, uh, December yarn of the month. The other one, one, um, the other one is a yarn that they had that was featured, but it's not really a yarn of the month. So I don't have an inspiration uh, photo for that. And then the other is just simply yarn from her and no yarn of the month. So we're going to start with Leather Company. They had a Turtle Bay yarn. I think the yarn is actually Turtle Bay, but it it wasn't a regular monthly it's not a monthly subscription or anything it was a yarn you know i was i was looking over and kind of went back and forth and stuff with them or with her and um yeah so i have a referral link to leather and that is to the subscription boxes uh so if you were to join so i will have all of the um the two of these Two of the three that I'm going to show you today are typically in my description box on every video. I'm going to move these two up higher so that if you wanted to find it easier, you can. But like I said, Leather is not an affiliate link. Um, it is just a referral link and I get points, I think, towards re like rewards points. And I think you may get a discount. I Don't quote me on that. But anyway, oh, I forgot. It, it's wrapped up. So this one is, yeah, Turtle Bay Hand Dyed Yarn. So I'm really excited about it. It was really beautiful. So it's in a beautiful green paper. Oh, and I forgot before we get to the yarn, I'm going to insert the, no, I don't have an inspiration photo for this. Never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. So you guys ready? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> wow. Okay. This portion of it isn't necessarily so much my colors, but this portion I love. So together it should be really good. So I hope it's coming out true to color. Is that not stunning? Oh, to me, it looks like it's true to color, even with the lights behind me, but it's a beautiful like orange. And then you've got like the burnt orange going into like brown and you've got the green and this pink is amazing amazing well this is like purplish yeah that's purple and then you've got the pink but is that not stunning is that not oh my goodness this is so beautiful like i said this right here isn't really my colors but i love i love it together but oh my gosh i love it i love it now leather company i have done business with i used to get a subscription box from them uh so but they you know it is a small business and that is something that you know i'm still going to support um, but this is turtle base sock, hundred percent superwash Merino, 400 yards for the hundred gram Hank. Uh, and okay. So turtle Bay is the colorway. Is that not beautiful? Now this is soft. It's not like buttery soft. Um, but it is soft and it is squishy and it is hundred percent superwash Merino, which you guys learned about, um, superwash Merino on Monday, but I'm Vanna White. I'm just kidding. I'm getting silly here. I think I'm slap happy. I didn't sleep well last night. Anyway, so small business, number one, Leather Company, and it is stunning. Stunning, stunning. Again, there's a referral link in the description box below. Uh, okay, so that is small business number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I'm torn between which one I want to do next. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do Ruby and Roses. This is a yarn of the month. It's December's yarn of the month club. So as soon as I open it, right before I show it to you, I will show you the, I will post the um, inspiration photo. Now, again, this is another small business. Uh, I will put the link. Oh, crap. I will put the link to the website in the description box. I do not have a, re a referral or an affiliate link to them. I, you know what? And that's what I meant to do. Um, no, I don't even think they have a referral program, but I am going to check into that. And again, this, that's, I didn't mean to look at it. What is my problem? 
I pulled it out without thinking about it. And honestly, I thought it was going to be wrapped, and, and then I grabbed it. But uh, there is nothing that's black in there, which, <laughs> okay. I'm going to put the inspiration photo right here. Isn't that awesome? I, when I saw that, I was like, hmm, I'm really interested to see what it is they do with that. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't have a referral link or anything, and they never got back to me. I, I emailed them asking them if they had anything. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? There's a lot of white. Let me take it out of the bag. Oh, look, it says Merry Christmas. Um, they never got back to me as far as whether or not they have an affiliate link or a referral program or a coupon code type of a situation. I will recheck re my emails, which I did right before I came or started the video, but I will double check and see if I missed something. But look at, look at this. That, it, it's fun. I think it's fun. I wasn't expecting quite as much cream to it, but I do love the speckling. I love speckling and it's not necessary. It, I mean, it, it can be a tricky thing to get really good speckles. Um, of course, it depends on the dye you use, the the yarn base that you're or the fiber base you're using. But isn't that is fun? I will say that. I just wasn't expecting it to be primarily, um, like cream colored, but it is definitely fun. What do you guys think? I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, this is again Ruby and Roses yarn. It's Ruby hashtag Ruby and Roses yarn. A Walk Through the Snow is the name of the colorway, Soft Rose Base, 437 yards to the 100 grams. It's four ply, 85% superwash, merino, 15% nylon. So it is pretty. What are you doing? You better not be doing anything you're not supposed to be doing. She's been doing things she's not supposed to be doing lately, and I'm not sure what's going on with her. But I'm hot. I have the windows open, and it's cool outside, but it's not getting inside. So... I will say this is beautiful and it's squishy soft. So very, very, very squishy soft. But I like it. Don't get me wrong. I do like it. But I was thinking there was going to be more color in there. Yes, I know that the inspiration photo, there was a lot going on. So I guess that's where the, um, the speckle comes in. But I was thinking it'd be a little bit more colorful. So I'm not going to say I don't like it because I don't, I mean, I don't know that there's a yarn I don't like, but it's not what I was expecting. So I'm not like overly excited about it. Does that make sense? I have fuzz all over my face and it's tickling my nose. Excuse me. All right. So next is Le Leather. Really? Anybody who knows, well, if you know through me especially, but anybody who orders from her knows this packaging. This is um, from Shandy at Expression Fiber Arts. I believe there's two Hanks in here. I'm not quite sure which or what it is, but let's check it out. You all know I love her yarn. I have a lot of her yarn. I haven't received anything from her recently. Um, I do have a referral link to Expression Fiber Arts that will be in the description box below. Uh, and if for the first, if you were to go through my link and um, sign up or like create an account with her for the first time and place an order, you would get 15% off of your purchase. Now that's off of your first order with her. Uh, I would get, re now I don't know if you go through my link and you're, it's not the first time for you. You, you won't get the 50, if you've ordered before and you have an account with her, you wouldn't get the 15% off, but I don't know if I would get any referral points. I don't think so because I think it has to be a new customer that I refer to her, but, um, I don't get money from her. It's not a monetary gain. It's uh, rewards points that get to be used towards another purchase. Like I can get a coupon. Um, and she has different levels of rewards points to get different levels of coupons. So I have not looked at this. Okay. I pulled it out, but I have not looked at it. I looked inside the bag, nothing in there. So you ready? Huh? Interesting. Normally things I get from her are like really bright and colorful. So 
Let's see. Wow, this looks beautiful though. Whoo! I always I always open her stuff wrong and then the bag's all messed up and whatever. And let me see if I get it right this time. <laughs> Without cutting the yarn. I think I I think I managed. Ooh, I managed not to cut the yarn. All right, so let's see what this is. Wow, this is interesting. Expression Fiber Arts Gray Whale. It's seacoast fingering. 12% baby alpaca, 83% pima cotton, and 5% polyamide. 400 meters or 439 yards. Uh, needle knitting, knitting needle size uh, suggestion is 0 to 7, and crochet hook size B to G. Hand wash only. This is interesting. Definitely interesting. You see how it's like spun? Huh. Very interesting. I forgot that she had um, this particular. I'm trying to get a strand out so you can see it. What the hey? All right. You see that? Why is it not? Okay, there we go. Okay, stop focusing on me. Why are you not focusing? What's going on with you, camera? All right, there we go. You see that? That is interesting. Now, as far as softness, okay, it's dense. It is fairly dense. As far as softness, like actually feeling it, I will say this is really, I mean, this is definitely, you know, something you can make against the skin or make something for against the skin. It is soft. I will give it that. Uh, so that's. 12% baby alpaca, 83% Pima cotton, and 5% polyamide. It's interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting to work with. Let's see the other one. Because it's, it's the same thing. This is sun washed. It's like a really light gray. But kind of almost looks, yeah, it's a light gray for sure. I was going to say, it kind of looks almost cream-ish. So I think these two would work well together. What do you guys think? Will they look good together? So there's, what, 439 yards each. So that's 878 yards, right? Um, so let me know what you think of this. It's definitely interesting. And, I mean, it is soft. It, it is soft. And it's not like a rough cotton at all, because Pima cotton tends to be um, a lot softer. You can go in there, Miley. The door to her bedroom is closed, so she's not wanting to push it open. She's such a good girl. It is definitely soft, and I'm very interested to see how, the, how it works up. But I think those two colors will look good, don't you? Maybe going like a couple inches this, couple inches this, couple inches this, couple inches this. Or doing a half and half scarf. That's what I think I may do. A half and half scarf. Half this way, half this way. Okay, it's going to be a little bit. My The blanket has to come first. But let me know what you think about this. Um, and there's always a saying in here. Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile. But sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. Interesting. What's up with the focusing on my camera? All right, anyway. I read it to you. <laughs> okay, so let me know what you guys think about the yarns that we saw today. Now, again, I have a referral link for Expression Fiber Arts, and I have a referral link for Leather Company. For Ruby and Roses, I do not. Um, I am going to ch double check my email. If I, if I missed something from them, um, I will go and put it in the description box below. What? What? She wants to say hi to her peeps. She didn't have enough time with you guys last night. Right? Little stinky face. Little stinky face. Plus, she's on my level now. All right. So, anyway, this video got quite long. Miley, back up, please. You're standing on that. Um, she's telling me off, right? Because I told, I corrected her. I'm hot. Whew. Anyway, oh, my hands. Oh, I got to show you this. This cream, I finally realized that when my hands started getting better and not as dry, and then I stopped using something, they got worse. And then I started using it periodically and they got kind of better. And then I stopped using it and they got worse. 
Well, I realized that this is what, this is the only cream that I've been able to find that truly, really works and heals my skin. I don't know if you guys can see that. Advanced Healing Skin Cream. And it's Silver Biotics. It's got colloidal silver in it, which is a wonder, wonder, wonder product. Um, it's amazing. And it is like an antibacterial kind of, it kills, I forget how many. It's like, I don't know, like a hundred or, or some, something ridiculous, like different bacterias. Um, and when you use this, it actually protects your hands for six hours even through washing. Um, now, if you wash your hands like ridiculously often, it, it's going to wear off faster, but it will protect your skin for up to six hours against different bacteria. So it's something to definitely look up and that's colloidal silver. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because it really does help my hands. And right now they're very dry because I ran out of that a couple weeks ago. And I need to start using it again because it really does make a difference. And I don't know if it's designed to do that, but for me, it's the only cream that I found that actually works. So I will take it. Uh, but anyway, so that is it. Let me know what you think about the yarns. I know these are businesses I have talked to you about before. Uh, so not anything really new. Ruby and Roses, I think this is the second time I've received something from them. I can't remember. Maybe third. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I would love to hear what you think about the Expression Fiber Arts one because that one is definitely unique compared to what else I have from her. Uh, but I'm really excited to see how that works up because it is very beautiful. So um, yeah, let me know. I really want to know about what you think about the yarns that I showed you today. So have a wonderful day. I'm going to go so I can start editing this and hopefully get it all done before we have to really, really buckle down and start dinner. Uh, so have a wonderful day. Anybody that watches my channel that also celebrates right now, or celebrates Christmas right now, Merry Christmas. <clears throat> wow. I, I need to take a drink. Hold on a second. It was like, I feel like I have something stuck in my throat. It's really, really weird. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. I will be back on Friday with getting to know you. And if there's any other happy mail that comes in, I will go ahead and share that with you then. So thank you all so incredibly much for your support. I really appreciate it. Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. My mom says hello also. I love you guys dearly. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for anyone who needs it. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. If you are still here and you happen to be new, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell next to that. And if you guys can be amazing as you always are and give this video a thumbs up and comment and share, that is very much appreciated. And... Um, yeah. Oh, and remember, we're going to be posting another video on the cooking channel today. So yay, I'm so excited. Two videos in like three days. Wow. Craziness, right? We went like two months with nothing and then two videos all at once. Anyway, have a great day. I love you guys. You all know I'm good for the 10 minute goodbye. So it is what it is. But I love you guys and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.